the one that everyone knows. Hello? 30 is out. Hello! Hello, hello everyone. This is Natalia from Natoka Design and today is my name day. So I'm looking a bit, you know, proper if I may. I've got my new hair going. I've got my new outfit. I've got even ears pierced. They're quite red. You probably can't tell, but ah, anyone that's been pierced understands me. But it's not about that. Why are we saying something else? Hello. So I'll make it quick. I spoke with Adele. It's a fact, Adele the singer, like Adele, the one that everyone knows, the one that everyone sings her songs, is ridiculous. It's what? And I'm gonna tell you the story. It's a very meaningful, beautiful, grateful story that I'll never forget. I know it's very random. It has nothing to do with design. It has nothing to do with business, but it's inspirational. So we're gonna go for that. How about we just, you know, you learn with me how I got to speak with Adele. So very quickly, anyone that knows me, I love music. I live for music. I think music is the most stunning gift for humankind that has been ever given. The Anyone that can hear music, you're lucky. Never take that for granted. I don't take it for granted. I love music. It relaxes me. It heals me. It makes me inspired. It puts me in different moods. It helps me to draw. It helps me to work. It helps me to relax. It helps me to get engaged. It helps me to be happy. I can name it. Music just does it for me. I think that there's something so special about music and also drawing. I actually recently heard Chantel Martin, one of the beautiful artists that I follow, check her out. She was speaking about how music evokes her art and it kind of leads her sometimes, how she draws and everything. And I just so agree with that. There's so much in there. So we know that, we established. I love music. I love concerts. I live for them. When the world has changed, that was one of the number one things, apart from not being, of course, able to see my loved ones not going to concerts and i i love them so adele who doesn't know her even if you don't like her you know her and you know that she's got a talent and again it's super fair if you don't care if you don't care about her <laughs> skip this video I, don't, I really don't care if you care continue i love her i love her music i love her honesty i think she's a very genuine person i think the way she presents herself and carries herself it's inspiring it's stunning it's empowering especially for myself as a woman in business i find her interviews and storytelling and reason bef behind why she creates very meaningful and very inspiring and makes me feel great so i was so excited to hear that after six years she put out a new album if you haven't heard about that where do you live under rock hello 30 is out hello 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 so she put out an album and I'm like, wow. And of course, anyone that knows me, I always try to get tickets. Like I, I fight for tickets and there were tickets for a concert next year in London. I did everything, guys. I tried to buy the pre-sale. I tried to buy on the day. I involved my friends, everyone. Half of them are not my friends anymore because I was so annoying. I was like, please help me, please help me buy the tickets. And now I do, hello. And there's nothing <laughs> but hey i didn't get them i didn't get them if you have some spare tickets for next year in london please send them to me please i'll draw anything for you please two please thank you and so i was devastated but i was you know i was like there must be new concerts coming up whatever i was signed up to her official email adele email you know the thing that you do as a big fan and long story short, between my travels, I suddenly get an email that says you've been invited to a very special evening with Adele in London on 6th of November. More details to come, RSVP if you want to come. I've never clicked on anything quicker than that. I clicked RSVP in that second, I screenshot it. But I thought for a second, is that a spam? Come on, what are you talking? What do you mean special evening? And funnily enough, I was in between travels just three days. So the 6th of November was literally technically the only day I could do anything with myself 
if that was the case but i really thought it's a spam or it's i mean what do you mean special evening what do you mean i have so many thoughts i didn't actually say this to anyone because i thought this is not happening what is this i'm gonna wait it could be dodgy it could be amazing it could be the best day of my life what's going on what do you mean a special evening when i tell and I thought for a second, sometimes artists do these things where they play their album to their fans without them being there before. So I thought that might happen because I know that she lives in LA. And guys, I know a lot of things about Adele. It's sad and beautiful at the same time. Yes, thank you. And so I was like waiting and I'm like, well, let's see. And it said, I think just RSVP will be more in, you know, due, in due course. And I'm like, okay. And it came up to 4th of November, so two days before the event. I get nervous. I told my partner about it. I'm like, what's going on? Is it happening? Is it a joke? What's going on? Like, I really need to know. I need to know if someone's spamming my life away and this is ridiculous or it's actually going to happen. And I think, I think on 4th, I don't remember exactly now, I'm too like, ugh. I got an email and it said, thank you so much for RSVP, you know, we would love to see you, here's your two tickets. The rest was blurry. <laughs> so I was like, ah. Literally, guys, the excitement levels, like, wow. Wow. So I read this and of course it said, you know, it's a TV program that's going to be filmed. Of course, you can't uh, have any uh, phones. Please eat before the event. You need to come earlier. You need to sit down. You need to do this, that. And I'm like, wow, okay, wow, this is, this is nuts. By the way, half of the video I'm staring at the viewfinder. Sorry, I'm just too excited and loving my hair. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm back. I'm back here. Of course, I'm back. So I get this email. I go crazy for a second, I send it to my partner, he goes crazy, and we're just like, what? And then, of course, you know, I was like, thank you, oh my god, is it like, are you there, is it true? What? Like, what do you mean on 6th I'm going to see Adele? What? TV? What? And then I get another email, I think, on the morning of 6th with actual tickets, <laughs> and I'm like, I thought I, I literally, I thought I'm gonna faint, guys. Like, I secured that email with my life. I screenshot it, I filmed it, I printed it. I was just like, ain't nobody is stopping me from going tonight to that gig. I will sit in the house, not move. Maybe just move to, you know, get a coffee and play, the, play Adele. But I'm going to be there on time, whatever that is, <laughs> whatever the case. And we did. We went to central London and we, it, it was at Palladium London. If you know London well, it's in central London near Oxford Circus. Beautiful old venue. It's like a theater. I went there actually to a concert, Hosier's concert. Mwah! Hosier, come back, please. And we were standing in the queue. And first time in my life, I was on a red carpet. Guys, like, I'm not a star, but I felt like a star and I was like, Give me red carpet anytime. Anytime. Anyone wants a photo? No one wanted a photo apart from me, but hey, I was there. The levels of excitement were ridiculous. I knew this is something very special. Of course, I couldn't see her. She would probably come from the back door or something. She was already there preparing her beautiful self. And I was like, this is this is major. If there's a red carpet and everything's shut off from the public, and there's a massive sign Adele and it said an audience with Adele, which I'm like, me? Like, you mean me? <laughs> and we were told at the end of the red carpet to put away our phones. They were put, put like in a secure kind of, you know, closure that you actually can't use them. And, you know, of course there was like no photography, nothing. And we took, everyone of course took it super seriously. And actually, to be fair with you, anyone that organizes gigs, or events, please do that because it was the best thing that we could do and I actually went to another gig like that in the past and the level of your presence at the concert are nothing like before. You are there, you're fully there, you're not looking at your useless phone because what it is that you want to see there, another puppy video, what do you want to see there? Nothing, right? So it was actually a great thing that we couldn't touch our phones. We were fully there. We had great seats at like the top uh, part, but at the front, so I could see everything. Like I was literally in the middle of the top part, seeing the stage and just praying. I thought I'm gonna like literally faint. I was so ecstatic. 
you know, it's like there's not many moments in life when you get to do something so special and I find it very special because it's not even that I'm her fan the whole experience was wonderful, I'll never forget it just being there, invited, what turned out to be amongst the biggest stars in the world was ridiculous she was super kind and sweet enough to have a huge section of audience from Grenfell Tower that she supports massively, families of that tragedy and there was NHS workers and you know all those beautiful people that take care of our health daily Mwah. and then at the bottom it looked very special there were like little lamps and I was like what's going on there? what's happening? and just before the concert at the time that we knew it's gonna start guys stars came down people I grew up watching, listening to, dancing to, everything, watching movies Samuel Jackson, Mel B from Spice Girls Mel B from Spice Girls? I mean, I was always the baby one yeah <laughs> Scarlett, no wait what's her name, what's her first name? O'Hara, she was the mom at Kevin Home Alone movie what? I love her, I'm so sorry for not remembering her first name, I'll put it down Idris Elba, Dua Lipa, Boy George, Emma Watson, stunning, and one of my biggest loves in my life, Emma Thompson. Like the Emma Thompson, who was actually grooving and dancing the most in the whole room to the concert. She was fabulous. Kevin McIntyre, Jonathan Ross, all the amazing comedians, Alan Carr, in UK, like if you don't know, check them out, they're amazing. I definitely forget many people. There were some amazing people from Netflix. The problem is I don't watch much Netflix, so I don't really know who that was, but I know they were super famous. And also, which I can't confirm, but the press everywhere said that Beyonce was there. Now, I can't say that was the case because I didn't see her. She either was hiding somewhere which gives me chills when I think about it <laughs> Beyonce fan here or she wasn't there and they just put it in the press that she was there who knows? don't know, we'll never know, who knows? Adele knows my friend <laughs> so then concert goes, she comes out, she's stunning, she's beautiful, she's an angel she looks like a dream, beautiful black dress I mean you can definitely see the snippets on press now I'll pop a few pictures here and there dream, she sounds better than on the album it's just dream and she played three new songs i thought i'm gonna literally pass out and come out of, out of that building and just fly away it was amazing and then in between the recording people were asking her questions the stars were asking her questions which clearly was part of the program so she knew that someone's gonna be asking her questions some of them probably were even planned part of the show right it was wonderful and at the end she decided to ask few people from the audience a question and I thought I'm gonna pass out because it was really at the end of the night and I thought like okay let's go that's it oh my god right and she asked a girl on the right hand side from us the girl flipped out and she was like oh I don't have any question <laughs> that kind of could be me if she did that to me then she asked some other person on the left from me and they were asking about about sports and LA and stuff like that and I was like, either now or never. Like, I mean, of course I'm exaggerating, but you know, I was like, I believed that it can happen. I don't know, I was almost like coming out of the seats, like drama, but amazing. Ouch, ouch, new piercings, ouch. And at some moment she said, because I was wearing a sparkly jacket. Now you're gonna hear from me about wearing some sparkly jackets in a second. I actually should have worn that. Where's a sparkly jacket? I'll film it. <laughs> And she suddenly said as the last one You, in the sparkly top, what's your question? And when you get that sort of question, you're like Your brain goes, is it me? Is there anyone else in sparkly top? Behind me, below me, I don't know But I could see she's literally looking at me And we had a moment, we had a moment, we're friends, you know And I was like I, I really didn't know what to ask because it was such a second and I wanted to like come up with the most amazing deep question I love questions 
but I just came up with what's your favorite memory from London? I couldn't do anything better guys. I hope you like it. I mean, that's all I could do and I remember she said my favorite thing and memory from London about London is the summer everyone's in their pasty skin out it's everyone's outside and it's just the best and I was like when she was replying I was just like you know like I it, it was blurry it was blurry but you know I can say that Mel B asked her a question Emma Thompson asked her a question Samuel Jackson did and I did <laughs> my buddies I mean guys but seriously I know this can sound so little to some of you but you know what it sounded really big for me it was a big deal it made my freaking night I'll show you a recording of how I behaved after the gig <laughs> just explaining my excitement maybe to you more okay oh I I don't answer my question she was like the girl did this parking and I was like What's your favorite memory from London? And she was talking about uh, summer in London, but I don't really know what she was saying because I was too happy. But it's a very special moment for me because it proves that like even if someone is so far away from you and so famous and you're like, I'm never gonna meet that person, you actually had a conversation for a second with that person, which means we're all connected. And everything's possible. Mwah. <laughs> and you know, it's one of those things where I know it's such a little thing for so many people probably, and it doesn't mean anything for some of you, but it's one of those magical th moments where you're like, it teaches you really never know what's gonna happen next day. You really never know, you know, what could be your next adventure. Just because, as I said in my recording, someone's famous and big, it doesn't mean that they're unachievable to like connect with and have a moment with, at least, which is fabulous. She's a person as well, you know, it's just a person that you know you're not gonna just see on the street drinking coffee. Definitely one of the lessons is wear more sparkles. <laughs> That's definitely a thing for me. I thought about like maybe throwing out the jacket, it, it's, it's time. But no, I'm keeping that jacket, I'm gonna put it in a frame, it's happening. It's my sparkly jacket. And now my nickname is sparkly as well. And you know, you just really never know. I just wanted to show you that sometimes, even if we think we're in a bit of a habit, in a bit of a rut, nothing's going on for us. It's such a difficult time right now for everyone. And yet I got an email. I got an email that created a wonderful, stunning, meaningful, grateful uh, memory for me I'll never forget it and it's just amazing and you know I was laughing that all me all of my trying to get her tickets just paid off in that random way and last thing is do sign up to emails the people that you follow and love sign up to their emails you really never know I would never be in that room if I wasn't just part of a email that let's be honest we often skip it often goes to spam and you know here is an email of me going to it it's crazy i didn't have anyone like in inviting me i wasn't part of anything special i was just part of the email so thank you adele for that moment i love you dearly if you ever watch it <laughs> i'm the sparkly girl thank you for making my night you are a stunning human being i love you you're inspire me every day you're making me emotional which is a beautiful thing music always makes me emotional and thank you for creating a memory i'll never forget i appreciate that so yeah guys more sparkles more email signups more music peace out